what I've learned about culture, culture is the sum result of two things, what you create or what you tolerate. Culture is what you create or what you tolerate. Now, look, your yard is the same thing. It's going to be what you create or what you tolerate. Either you're going to own your yard or it's going to own you. <laughs> now, I can pray about it all day that it looks a certain way, but it's not going to happen. But let me ask you another question. Can I pray about a picture of what I want my yard to look like? the landscaping of it, that I want to do a, a renovation. Can I pray like, you know what, God, give me some fresh creativity. Give me fresh vision. You got me this house anyways. Can you pray about something like that? So you pray about it, and God gives you a vision of what you want your lawn and your landscape to look like. But is that going to make it happen? No. But you can pray about it. But then you got to go do something about it. And what I've learned is that most Christians stop there at praying about it. We see the culture of our nation. We don't like it. We don't like what's happening. And I wish this would happen. And in the schools, that would happen. You know what? I'm going to pray about it. You know, I don't like the fact that they're doing this and they're doing that. You know what? I'm going to pray about it. God, I pray for a culture like the word of God. I pray that you would give me a picture of what it's supposed to be. And I pray that you would send somebody else to do it. You're not going to get any results until you quit praying at the end of your prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Pick up whatever it is that you got to do and go do something about it. We can pray about the culture all day, but nothing is going to happen until we do something about it. Culture is going to be the result of what we sit back and watch happen or what we step up and make happen.